بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اینڈ السلام علیکم پاکستان وی آر بیک ٹو ڈے ود دی ایشوز آف گورننس ان آر لاسٹ سیشن وی ور ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ دا ڈفرنٹ ایشوز اینڈ ان دوز ایشوز وی ور فوکسڈ اپون دا رول آف دا بورڈ دا بورڈز ڈائیورسٹی دا بورڈز کانسٹیٹیوشن اینڈ دی فنڈامنٹل ریسپانسبلٹیز آف دا بورڈ ان دا کانٹیکسٹ آف شیئر ہولڈرز اینڈ مینجمنٹ اینڈ واٹ از دا ریلیشن شپ بٹوین مینجمنٹ اینڈ دا بورڈ اینڈ ہاؤ دا بورڈ کین ورک more efficaciously and effectively to ensure that the end performance of the organization is optimized within the culture, the values, the principles and the very important global context of corporate governance and it keeps a check and balance on the top management of an organization. So today we are going to take this discussion a little bit forward and see what are the other issues. Now a very important issue which emerges is the directors and executives remuneration. According to the Cadbury report, the overriding principle in respect of the board remuneration is that shareholders are entitled to a full and clear statement of directors' present and future benefits and how they have been determined. Now, this is extremely important, ladies and gentlemen, because in the past two, three decades, what we have seen is that the salaries, the remunerations, the benefits of chief officers, especially CEOs and sometimes chairmen, chairpersons and the board directors have exponentially grown. And there is a very big question mark on this and the Securities Exchange Commission of different countries are analyzing and also rationalizing these different remunerations. So it becomes very important that there is absolute disclosure that what the directors are earning currently what they will earn in future, what are the benefits, what are they taking out of the organization and then correspondingly, how are they contributing to the organization, what is their input into the organization, how much of effort they are doing for the betterment of the organization or are they only taking money and benefits and not contributing, that becomes a very, very big question. And therefore, the key corporate governance issues are number one, transparency, number two, pay for performance, number three, process for determination, number four, civilians payments, and number five, pensions for non-executive directors. So all of these five points become very important and many times they become a bone of contention also because there is a very big disparity between what they are getting and what they are giving. So it must be rationalized. If there are big benefits, big salaries, big pensions, or whatever the organization is giving to the board members, then the board members must also contribute and rationalize their input into the organization. And that is a very, very important aspect. And that is what has been mentioned and also highlighted in the very important global benchmark Cadbury report. So that is something which we always have to look at. Now, when we are talking about disclosure and audit, then the, aud then the Cadbury report terms the annual audit as one of the cornerstones of corporate governance. There are several issues and questions relating to auditing which have an impact on corporate governance. So that is what we've been talking about, the importance of transparency. We've also been talking about how important it is that there should be an annual audit and that annual audit should be thorough, it should be specific, uh, it should be uh, intrusive, it should be all-encompassing, it should be across the board, it should not be biased, it should not be discriminatory, it should not be destructive, it should be constructive, it should be uh, towards the amelioration of the organization, it should be for the betterment of the employees and also safeguarding the, the interests of the shareholder. And therefore, it is very important that proper accounting frameworks, metrics and auditors should be appointed to any organization and that is why it is the cornerstone of uh, the, the corporate governance and other issues also related to it which relate to procurement, which relate to hiring, which uh, relate to uh, the, the sale of assets, the purchase of assets, the revenues, the profits, the, the overheads, all of these things become very, very integral parts of the annual audit and again ensure either there is uh, corporate governance or there is no corporate governance.
So when we are talking about the protection of shareholder rights and their expectations, then again, it is very important that there should be corporate practices and policies which are country specific and country conducive. They should not be uh, like, uh, let's say, if we take the example of Pakistan, that we are bringing in those policies of Australia and those policies of Canada, which have no implication in Pakistan because we have our own cultural and we have our own corporate nuances. So therefore, that becomes very important, ladies and gentlemen. Another very important thing is, is that the dialogue with institutional shareholders. And again, how is it that the different institutional investors uh, would maintain a regular and systemic contact with the companies? And how do the companies provide information to the shareholders? So this mechanism, again, is very, very important. And usually, uh, it is always advised that organizations should have, uh, should have uh, principal information officers so that those officers are the focal point of providing all the relevant and important information to the shareholders and to the stakeholders. And that is a very, very important point. So we talk about transparency, we talk about audits, we talk about supra boards, and then we talk about the availability of information because information is vital for accountability. Without the right information, you cannot ensure accountability. And that is why we have to make sure that there is proper and appropriate dissemination. Like in Pakistan, uh, we also see that we have the Freedom of Information uh, Act, which again has many stipulations, which ensures that organization have to provide the requisite information within a specific time and also share the documentation related to it. And that is what also the Securities Exchange Commission of Pakistan also has a role to ensure that there is proper flow of information and things should not be kept secret from the shareholders and the stakeholders. So all of this is extremely important and that would ensure or making the company also more socially responsible and a socially responsible citizen. So when we talk about that, then one school based on past experience contends that institutional investors should act in the best financial interest of the beneficiaries. Other assert that environment friendliness and economic gains are not contradicting goals but on the other hand, they benefit corporations in the long run. So, ladies and gentlemen, what we are seeing is, is that when we are talking about uh, good corporate citizens or good corporate social responsibility by an organization, then there are two dimensionalities. One is how we tend to share uh, our economic gains with the community at large. And second, which is now the most, uh, most prioritized issue of the 21st century and that is environment protection and ensuring environment friendly policies. What we are seeing ladies and gentlemen in the 21st century is horrifying. In 2021, we have seen floods which were unprecedented, rains which were unprecedented, wildfires which were unprecedented, storms which were unprecedented. Now all of these unprecedented natural disasters which are taking place are unpredictable and cause losses in billions and billions of dollars in the short term and actually trillions of dollars in the long run. We are seeing the breakup of the polar caps. We are seeing the meltdown of glaciers. We are seeing the, the erosion of topsoil. All of these things are happening. And this is creating chaos. And in the coming years, this is going to increase because we have not been responsible citizens. Corporations have not been socially conscious organizations. And all of this is leading to a very unpredictable future, which would, in the long run, adversely affect the profits and profitability of organizations, which would have a devastating effect whenever there is a natural disaster. So there has to be a focus on these two. And the school of thought, which thinks that, no, all of this is actually an economic activity. No, not at all. It is about sharing. It is about caring. It is about empathizing. It is about being a good corporate citizen. And it is about ensuring that the brand name of an organization carries goodwill. Not only the goodwill of the product, but the goodwill of the company name. With all of this uncertainty around, it becomes the major responsibility of corporations and of boards and of management 
to ensure that organizations are caring, are empathetic, are focused towards the betterment of community at large and are effectively contributing to the betterment of humanity and community. So, thank you so much everyone. Take care.